let us understand the multiplication concept with the help of these little fish. There are five fish in each bowl. There are four fish bowls. How many fish are there in all? There are two methods to find the number of fish in all. So, let us start. Method 1. Here, we add the number of fish in each of the fish bowl. Let us do it. 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. Now, 10 plus 5 is equal to 15. And 15 plus 5 is equal to 20. So, there are 20 fish in all. Look! Here, we repeatedly added 5 four times to get the answer. Now, let us see method 2. Here, we would be multiplying the numbers. Let us see how. There are four fish bowls. Each bowl has five fish in it. So, here we multiply the number of fish bowls with the number of fish in each bowl. So, four times five is equal to twenty. Thus, there are twenty fish in all. It can be read as 4 multiplied by 5 is 20. 4 times 5 is 20. Or 4 fives are 20. When we compare both the methods, we can see that multiplication is repeated addition. Now, let us look at another example. There are three bird houses. There are five birds in each bird house. How many birds are there in all? To get the total number of birds, we add the number of birds in all the three bird houses. That is, five plus five plus 5 is equal to 15. That is, 3 times 5 is 15. Using the multiplication sign, we write it as 3 multiplied by 5 is 15. So, there are 15 birds in all. Now, let us look at the ways to write a multiplication sentence. This is called horizontal multiplication. This is called vertical multiplication. Certain terms are also used for the numbers in a multiplication sentence. The number that is multiplied by another number is called the multiplicand. The number by which another number is multiplied is called the multiplier. The number obtained by multiplying two numbers is called the product. Numbers that give a product when multiplied together are also called factors of that product. Here, number 3 is the first factor and number 5 is the second factor. They are called the factors of 15. Let us look at one more example. There are two leaves. There are five ladybirds on each leaf. 
How many ladybirds are there in all? Here, by adding, we get 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. And by multiplying, we get 5 multiplied by 2 is 10. Hence, there are 10 ladybirds in all. Hope it was fun to learn the concept of multiplication with the fish, birds and the ladybirds.